Are networking events worth it? Hey, and welcome everyone. It's day 21. I'm here in Italy. We have had a business networking event, actually a business crypto networking event with about 50 people. And uh, the event is coming to an end. Uh, we've had it uh, Monday, Tuesday. Over the weekend, I was in Munich for a crypto event. And then tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm actually going back to Munich. Going there for the book publisher for my new book. I have quite a lot of work, so it's going to be quite a bit of a juggle, uh, to be honest. I'm going to be here until, I'm going to be in Munich until Friday. And then on Saturday, I'm going to fly to Cologne for an event. And then I'm going to fly back to Singapore, back in Singapore on Sunday. And uh, yeah, here we have ha we are having a really an amazing event, and uh, I think a lot of people are wondering. And look, tomorrow I'm gonna talk more about product again. We just launched the customized bundles for everyone, so no more closed beta. Everyone is there. Check it out. But uh, yeah, I'll talk more about this tomorrow. Today I really want to kind of close this topic about networking events. A lot of people ask me, is hey. Is it worth it to go to such things? What do you do at these things? Um, two days ago, I talked about how to network, in, in my opinion. But today, I really want to kind of summarize what makes these networking events worth it or are they not worth it? Um, for me, the main kind of thing reflecting after an event, and this is really after the event, whether an event was good or not, is if I am actually in touch with people from that event, that people that I didn't know before. A different story is if I go to an event where I know people already um, and we are in touch anyways, and then we just use this opportunity to get together. So to me, the networking events or business events are not so much about the, the information I get there or the presentations, because at the end, most of those things I can get online. It's really about kind of the people you meet there. And at the end, it's really about the quality of an event. Obviously, a lot of it depends on how expensive these events are. They have some selection. And then that's also a bit of the quality of people that you may meet there. Now, obviously, the pricing of the event is not everything. A lot of it is also other selection criteria. And uh, with that, it's uh, really that group of people that you have there. At the end, it doesn't matter if you're the CEO in a company or if you're just an expert in your field. Uh, the peer group is really everything for you. And you need people around you that, uh, I don't know, have a certain kind of direction, a certain kind of motivation, a certain kind of drive. And I really think having these events is absolutely essential. Looking at my life, I am part of networking groups in Singapore. I have networking groups here in Europe and uh, even in the US. I, to be fair, now with the family, it's not as much there anymore but, or for now. But I think it's absolutely essential that you have that. And obviously, it depends a bit, right? As the CEO in your company, you may want to focus more on the entrepreneurial side of that. And uh, if you are more of the specialist in your company, then you're probably going to want to have more of these kind of, I don't know, maybe trade organizations or whatever you have for your field of expertise. Um, but I truly believe uh, most of the information you can get for free or very close for very cheap, even from these events. I don't think it's really worth it for the talks or for the presentations, and, and unless it's a very extraordinary speaker. But in most cases, to me, I don't know, even if Elon Musk will be speaking at an event, it's probably... Not so much the information because I could get that from YouTube anyways. But it's really the kind of people I meet there and the kind of people I network with. And two days ago, I spoke about how to kind of network and as an introvert. And so that to me is really kind of tagging along. So looking at those, uh, I don't know, let's say four days now of networking, of business, of talking crypto, talking investments. Man, we talked politics. We talked social solutions. It was incredible. Right, and it's uh, and obviously there were a lot of people I had known before already, and I'm going away from this event with a lot of new friends, people that I'll definitely stay in touch with, people that I visit, people that come to visit me, people actually stay over at my house, and uh, people that I stay over when I go somewhere. And to me, that's what it really comes down to, because uh, yeah, life is really about the friends and the people you meet and the and the memories you build with them, and so that's what makes it so worth it. So yeah, that's. It for day 21. Three weeks are completely covered with this. Tomorrow we're going to start week four. Um, the next couple of days it will really be focused on product and marketing. We've done most of the mindset things, most of the kind of networking things, things around the topics in the past couple of days because it just fit a bit better. And so, yeah, tomorrow we're digging into the launch. We talk about sign offs, we talk about getting early feedback. So quite some key things that you're going to need on your 90-day game challenge. With this, see you tomorrow.
All the best. Yours truly, Julian. Bye-bye.